Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Hazy. I'm a working mom of a 20 month old named Alina. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys Alina's Montessori functional kitchen and eight things that make the functional kitchen even more functional and practical. So let's get started. <music> Over the past six months while we've been working on Alina's functional kitchen, having this working sink with running water has been a game changer. I got this water pump from Amazon which I'll leave the link in the description box down below and I think this pump is the most affordable and hassle free way to modify any play kitchen. This is USB rechargeable, I'll quickly show you how to install it. I'm going to drill and make holes in the bottom of the sink. We've been using this kitchen as hand washing station since Alina was 14 months old. Now she's 20 months old and I think she's ready to practice washing dishes and veggies here. So I'm going to remove this stove and place an IKEA dish drying mat. I was going to get a rack but I couldn't find anything that's small enough to fit here. But I think this mat is actually going to work better than a rack. This is a sponge from Ikea and I'm going to cut it into thirds to make it easier for Alina to wash dishes. Now I'm going to show Alina how to wash dishes here for the first time and let's check if this setup actually works. I just want to quickly tell you guys that I make videos about Montessori at home, play ideas for toddlers and Montessori inspired home makeover. So if that sounds like something you're interested in watching more of, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up. The sink is actually smaller than I thought, but Alina's going to wash only one or two things at a time, so size-wise I don't see any problem. And water's running fine and draining fine, not too fast, not too slow, so I'm really happy with the setup and the drainage system that I created. I think this automatic foam soap dispenser not only made Alina's hand washing experience fun but also made it a lot easier and faster because foam soap is a diluted form of a liquid soap so you get a lot less soap per one pump which means you need less water to rinse off. In addition to that, unlike liquid soap or bar soap, you don't need to wet your hands before using and you don't need to rub and form bubbles so it definitely made the hand washing process much faster. I got a washcloth hung on the front here on a hook. There is a rack on the side, but it's a little tricky for her to use, especially when she needs to dry her face. So I just got this 3M wall hook instead and it works perfectly. I've put a water dispenser here with a small glass so she can get water by herself when she's thirsty. 
At first, she played with the spigot for a day or two, then that was it. Now she knows this is for her to drink, and when she spills some water, she knows where to get the cloth, and she usually wipes it off by herself with a bit of gentle prompting. And in this cupboard, I would put some snacks like roasted nuts and homemade cookies. Sometimes I would put organic rice puffs or chips and stuff like that as well. And over here, these are Alina's breakfast cereals. There are wheat bix, cornflakes and porridge. She gets to choose one of these or sometimes she'd like... Um, pancakes or toast instead which is totally fine and then we make fruit smoothie every morning most of the time my husband makes it early in the morning but today Alina's gonna make it so we'll share with you guys our fruit smoothie recipe and also Alina's breakfast routine <music> I recently added this mini fridge to her kitchen. My husband thinks it's way over the top but this mini fridge allows her to access her cold snacks and drinks when she wants it and it also gives her a little place for her own foods. So inside the fridge there is a small room for yogurt pouch, string cheese, juice, milk and a small fruit bowl and whatnot. I wouldn't put too many choices at a time and only enough for between breakfast and lunch or lunch and dinner. And once it runs out, she has to wait until she sleeps as refills happen while she's asleep. I've put a rubbish bin here and a mini dustbin and a brush next to it. Alina loves to put rubbish in bin. She can't really sweep anything with the brush, but she can push the crumbs around the floor with it and empty the dustbin into the rubbish bin. So this is how I set up Montessori Functional Kitchen for my 20 month old. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like button and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!